Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. A weather report for today is, it was beautiful weather. It was very sunny, very warm. I did put a long sleeve shirt on, but I ended up having to scooch it up because it is a little warm. Um, today we're going to talk about horseback riding or cow riding, whichever. I started out with a cow ride, or a, um, actually a calf ride. When I was younger, we didn't have a horse. I always wanted a horse, but we didn't have one. So we would ride the calves in the pasture. We would get to, every year we'd get two calves or every, I think it was every year because we'd get them in the spring and butcher them in the fall. And so we had these two calves and they would be a black and white calf is what the color was. I don't know what kind. And um, we would hop on their back and, they, and the calves always had a real big belly. They're, they're, they're not made like a, shaped like a horse would be shaped. They had a real, real wide tummy area or belly area. And we used to get on them and hang on for dear life. Sometimes we'd hug their necks. And if they didn't want to move, your brother or your sister or whoever was with you would twist their tail a little bit and that would make them move. And these darn calves... They weren't stupid. They were pretty smart. They would go between two um, locust trees and the locust tree was just wide enough for them to go through but not wide enough for you to go through so you'd be slid right off the calf and so they would you be lost. You'd get you'd fall off. So when we would see they were doing that, you used to bring your legs up, lay on their back and hang on and hope you made it through the trees with them. And then if they didn't get you off, they would try it again. And hopefully you stayed on or, or you might have fallen off. Well, that one, that practicing actually was my lead into when we did finally get a pony. Well, we didn't get a pony. My brother got a pony. I don't know where he got this pony from, but he got this pony and it was called Red or Big Red. It was just a little, it wasn't big. It was a medium size pony horse. I don't know. It wasn't big and it wasn't little, little. But anyways, this big red or red, whatever you want to call it, um, I used to like to try to ride it. So I would practice trying to put the bit in its mouth because my brother Anthony could get the bit in its mouth with no problem, put the saddle on, no problem, and ride. So I thought, well, I'd like to try to do that. So I would was out he was he was tied out and um i had the the bit and i was trying to get it in his mouth and he would not open his mouth for me at all and i was there for quite a while trying really hard and i thought i've got to win if i don't win with this horse this horse will never let me put it in so while i was working on it the my mother called and said it was time to come in to eat so i went in to when i turned to go leave to go in to eat that darn pony horse bit me in my butt and I turned and I said you wait I am coming back right after I'm done eating I'm gonna get that bit in your mouth and so I went in and I had my meal and then I came back out and sure enough I worked at it again I got the bit in once I got the bit in then it was time to put the saddle on the saddle was another challenge because this horse pony, whatever, this animal, knew how to puff air in its tummy. So when you put the saddle, put the blanket on, put the saddle on, and you went to put the strap underneath to cinch it up, it used to blow more air into its belly or something. So you never could get it cinched tight enough. And I would take it and I'd go for a little ride and I'd go to this, there was a road next to us, Lowell Road, and I used to go up to Lowell Road, stop there, turn around, come back, and then I would take the stuff off the horse and brush it and put him, and tie him back out or put him back in the barn wherever he belonged. And the, one day my brother says he wanted me to bring the horse to him. He had bought a house and the house that he bought was on a dead road, dead end, dead end road. So I um, had to put the bit in the to pony's mouth, put the saddle on him, then I had to ride him to um, at least it was probably two miles I had to go on this pony which should have not taken forever but 
it took a long time because as soon as I got to that low road that pony wanted to turn around and go back and I said oh no 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 we got to keep going and I had to struggle to make that pony go because if you kind of kind of kick the sides a little well he was to turn and try to bite you he was not a nice pony but um we got to where I was riding him down the low road he went down low road and then I had to go to um I had to go past Lamberton Road I had to keep going I was going towards I had to go to this other road I don't even know what the name of the road was but it was another road that connected to it probably was um the other end of Swede Road possibly mm -hmm. there was Swede Road was a dead end road on both ends and I had to go to the other side of Swede Road so I went on this end and it came to a dead end and then I went along the railroad tracks to get there because I didn't dare take this pony on the road road on a highway so and I prayed there'd be no trains thank goodness there were no trains but by the time I got to my brother's house that pony just before we got to his house just before that pony let the air out of its belly so my saddle went from up here to over here so here I am riding sideways on this pony and I'm looking for my brother I'm hoping he's home because I've got to get off this pony and give him the pony and when he came out of his barn he says you didn't ride all the way look like that did you and I go no just from basically the end of the road to his house which was not real far but far enough the, and so he he kind of thought it was funny I didn't think it was so funny anymore because I also had gone past a horse that was and before I got onto the railroad tracks there was another horse and I don't think that horse was fixed because man that horse was going wild when I was going by and um, I don't know if my horse was fixed or not either but it was not a fun moment I didn't know what that horse was going to do and the other horse was going to do but we did make it past and I did get to my brother's house so that was my exp so after that I didn't want a horse when all the while we were growing up I used to wish my the cow or the calf was a horse once we had one I didn't wish for a horse anymore a horse is, was not not the not for me and so um, I don't I think it was long many years after that then I, I had a girlfriend that I worked with and she had quarter horses and she wanted to know if I'd go riding. Well, it sounded like a good idea, sort of. So I went to her house, and quarter horses are extremely tall. And they spook pretty easy, these quarter horses do. So the, her husband helped me get up into the up onto the saddle, and we were riding, and of course, what happens? We're quite a ways away and the horse gets spooked I did control it thank goodness but the next day when I went to work I couldn't straighten up just like when I after I rode on the motorcycle the first time I had I had my muscles were so tense they had to give me a muscle relaxant so that I could do my job and so I've never ridden a horse after those two times I've decided horses are not meant for me and I'm not meant for the horse so that's my story for today. I hope you all had a great day, and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye. Didn't talk about handbrake either. Ah, I forgot. <clears throat> oh man. Oh, I'm back. Don't go away. Wait a minute. Whoa. I um am trying something new because it takes forever for these videos to upload. My husband is going to um, well, he already installed handbrake it's a video converter so this is the video that we're going to try and see if it works with and and maybe it'll upload faster and hopefully the quality stays the same but we're going to test it out okay now we can go okay bye <laughs>